Hi, welcome to my channel and I'm glad to see you again. In social sciences, the use of strings are common in representing data with categorical or nominal variables, such as gender and marital status to mention but few. Before you load this kind of nominal data set into XPSS, it is also possible to convert the data from each string format to numeric format in a Excel spreadsheet before loading it into XPSS. So in this video, I will be demonstrating how to convert nominal data set from string to numeric in a Excel spreadsheet before loading it into XPSS. My name is Tito Ken and this is Tito Ken Max Solutions, a YouTube channel for improving the knowledge of how to do things. Without further ado, let's get down to business. This is our set of data consisting of nominal variables such as gender, categorized into male and female, marital status, categorized into single, married and divorced, and qualification, categorized into SSCE, BSC, and MSC. Before we load this data into XPSS, let's convert these categorical variables from their string format to numeric format using find and replace method in Excel. To do this, hold down the control key and click on the H key on the keyboard to pop up the find and replace dialog box as you can see. This dialog box is the place where you can convert the variables from strings to numeric. It consists of two fundamental columns. The first column is called find what. And this is the column where you entered the string which you want to convert to numeric. And this column is case sensitive. So you are strongly advised to write the string that you want to convert exactly how it is written in the dataset. The second column is called replace with. This is the column where you choose numeric value to replace the string you presented in the first column. Now, let's convert the categorical variable gender from string to numeric. So in the find what space, write male the way it is in the data. Then choose any numeric value to replace it and write it in this space for replace with. Let's choose one and write it here. Then click the button for replace all and immediately all the male strings are hereby replaced with the chosen numeric value one. Now, let's write female in the find word space and then write two in this space for replace with and then click replace all. Again, all the female have been replaced by twos as you can see. Please note that the choice of numeric value to replace any string is entirely yours. Here, I choose one to replace male. But you can choose any other value such as 0, 2, 3, 4, or 5 as you may so desire to replace the male. It doesn't actually mean which one comes first. But you must not choose the same numeric value to replace more than one variable string in the same variable column. Please note that each variable column is independent of one another. That means you can use similar numeric values to replace the string of other categorical variables in different columns. In few steps more, you will see what I meant. Now, let's repeat the same procedure for the second nominal variable, marital status. Write single in the find word space the way it is written in the dataset because the find and replace method is case sensitive. Now, let's choose one and write it in the space for replace with. Then, Click replace all to replace the singles with one. Again, write married in the find word space the way it is and replace it with the numeric value two. Then, click replace all as usual to replace all the married strings with twos. Now, write divorced as it is in the find word space and replace it with three. Then click replace all. As you can see, the marital status string have been replaced by the chosen numeric values. Similarly, for qualification, let's replace XSCE with one. And then click replace all. Again, let's replace BSC with two. And again, 
click replace all. Then replace MSC with three. And then click replace all. As you can see, the strings have been replaced by the choosing numeric values for qualification. Now, close the find and replace dialog box. As you can see, we have completely converted the string variables to numeric variables in Excel. But please note that you must keep in mind or write it somewhere how you define the numeric values for each variable string. This is important because you will be needing them to define the value labels in XPSS. As you can see, 1 and 2 have been used repeatedly as value labels for the string of categorical variables in the three columns. But they represent different category of string for each variable in each column. But if you think using similar value label like I have demonstrated might be confusing to you, you can choose to use unique value to label the variable string in each column. They will all be evaluated to produce the same results. So you cannot save the data set as a new set of data. To do that, go to the menu bar, click on File, and from the sub-menu, click on Save As. And in the dialog box that opens, give the file a name, such as My New Data. And then click on Save to save this new data set. Now, let's go into SPSS and load in this new data set. As you can see, the data has been loaded into SPSS. Now, click on the Variable View button to go to the Variable View window. Here, you can see that all the variables are imported as numeric type. This is what we have expected to see, and it has been achieved. But you will need to go a step further to define the value labels so that the SPSS software is properly communicated to with what the numeric values represent. So let's go to the value labeled column. In this column, click on the cell of each variable and then click on the blue button to open the value label dialog box and then assign the value you use to replace each string in the Excel spreadsheet. This is why I told you to keep it in mind or write it somewhere how you define the value labels. However, I will just go ahead and define them quickly as appropriate. Now, as you can see, the value labels have been defined, and if you return to the data view window, you will see that the numerical values are replaced by the string according to how they have been labeled. If you go to the toolbar and click on the value label tool, you can see that the data set is toggled between the string and the numeric values. This is how to convert nominal variable data set from string to numeric in a set before loading into XPSS. I hope this video was useful to you because right now we have come to the end of this video and I hope that you will be able to replicate the procedure as demonstrated in this video 
to convert the string variables of your own data to numeric variables type in Excel. If you like this video and you want to see more video content like this, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to encourage education and learning and so that we begin to send you notifications every time I publish new and useful content. Subscription is free. Thanks for your time and subscription and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.